Hello and welcome to Learn English with Tangmation. Today's topic is Simple Present Tense. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Okay, let's go. In this video, you will learn conjugation of regular verbs and the verbs be and have, the structure of present simple, how to form negatives, how to form questions, how to form answers, and when to use present simple. There is a test at the end too. First, we will have to learn the verb conjugation for simple present. What is a verb conjugation? Conjugation means to change the verb so it matches the subject. In present simple, it looks like this. I eat and she eats. I am and she is. The words am and is are the same verb but in a different form. This is what we call conjugation. Here we change the subject from I to she. So we also had to conjugate the verb. In other words, to form the verb differently. How do we know when we should conjugate the verb? And what form of the verb to use? This depends on the subject. With I, you, we and they, we don't usually change anything. The verb stays the same. And where the subject is he, she or it, we would usually add s. In some cases, the s needs to be changed to es. This is the case with verbs ending in sh, ch, o, s, x and z. Like these. You watch TV every day. And she watches TV every day. Here we change the subject from you to she, so we also had to add the es. There are also verbs that are exceptions to these rules. Those verbs are be and have. This is something that you will have to memorize as the verbs be and have are used a lot. Here is the table that shows the correct forms for the verbs be. Subject I am You We They Are he, she, it, is. Here are some example sentences. I am cold. He is a teacher. They are tall. It's also common to shorten the verbs like this. I'm your, where, there, his, she's, it's. These are called contractions. So our examples would be, I'm cold. He's a teacher. They are tall. Okay, let's now see the other verb, the verb have. I, you, we, they, have. He, she, it, 
has. Here we drop the VE and replace it with S. I have a ticket. Or she has a car. Okay, now let's learn the structure of the present simple tense. We will first focus on positive sentences. Let's look at this example. I eat breakfast every morning. Here we have a subject, a verb, and the rest of the sentence. That's the structure of the present simple tense. Note that the verb has to be in a correct present simple form, as we discussed earlier. For example, she eats breakfast every morning. Or, she is a good teacher. And, they are good teachers. Okay. So far, all the examples we used were positive. Let's now see how to form the negatives. We'll use the same example again. I do not eat breakfast every morning. Here we have a subject, the negation, do not, does not, verb, and the rest of a sentence. This time, the verb stays the same all the time. For example, she does not eat breakfast every morning. As you can see, it's the negation that changed from do not to does not. We use does not with the subject he she and it. You can also shorten the negation. The do not can become don't and the does not can become doesn't. It's called a contraction. She doesn't eat breakfast every morning. However, when we form negative sentences with the verb be, we move the negation to after a verb. Note that the negation used is simply not. Subject, verb, negation, not, and the rest of a sentence. See the difference here. She is hungry and she is not hungry. Again, you can also shorten the negation to isn't. She isn't hungry. Or shorten the subject to she's. She's not hungry. As you can see, there are a few ways to form a negative sentence. Let's now look at a question. How do we form the questions? Let's see our example again. She eats breakfast every morning. To form a question, we need to add an auxiliary verb, do or does. Also remember that the verb needs to be in a base form. We don't conjugate it. Does she eat breakfast every morning? We have an auxiliary verb, do or does, subject, verb, and the rest of a sentence. However, when we form questions with the verb be, we don't add the auxiliary verb do or does. All we need to do is to swap the subject with the verb. So verb, subject, and the rest of a sentence. See the difference here. She is hungry. 
And is she hungry? Okay, let's now see how to form answers to these questions. The structure of the answer depends on the structure of the question. If the question starts with the auxiliary verb do or does, then the structure of the answer is no, subject, don't or doesn't, or yes, subject, do or does. Does she eat breakfast every morning? No, she doesn't. Or, yes, she does. If, however, there is the be verb used in a sentence, the structure looks like this. No, subject, isn't, aren't, am not. Or, Yes, subject, am, is, are. Is she hungry? No, she isn't. Or, yes, she is. If the subject is I, then it is more common that the subject and the verb are contracted to I'm. Are you hungry? No, I'm not. Okay, let's see when we should use the present simple tense. We use the present simple tense to describe number one, something that is always true. Ice is cold or two plus two equals four. Number two, permanent situations. I work at a hotel or she lives in Birmingham. Number three, daily routines or habits. I eat breakfast every morning or we visit New York every year. These three are the most important ones, but there are a few others that you will need to learn too. So here's number four. Short actions happening now. You have probably heard it watching a sport event on TV. He gets the ball, runs past the defenders, he shoots and he scores. Or number five, future actions that are scheduled. For example, bus timetable or work shifts, etc. My train leaves tomorrow at 8 a.m. Or she finishes at 2 p.m. today. So let's review. We use present simple to describe something that is always true, permanent situations, daily routines and habits, short actions happening now, and future action that has a schedule. Bonus tip. Sometimes you may see these words, never, rarely, sometimes, usually, often, or always. This is a sign that the sentence is a simple present tense sentence. For example, I never get up early, or I always shop in the evening. Okay, now that we know when to use present simple and how to form it, it is the time for a test. Can you recognize which sentences are written in the present simple tense? 
I jog every day. It was a tall tree. He drinks coffee every morning. She works in a hotel. I'm driving to my workplace. They were sad. It's a tall building. They are happy. He loves her. Okay, you will now have 10 seconds to complete this, but don't worry, you can pause the video if you need to. All right, let's go. All right, the time is up. Let's now check it if you got it right. The correct answers are I jog every day. He drinks coffee every morning. She works in a hotel. It's a tall building. They are happy. He loves her. So did you get it right? Then well done. Today's topic was simple present tense. We hope you enjoyed it. See our YouTube channel to learn more about the English grammar and don't forget to subscribe. So, until the next time.